Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to disenroll a keypad from a Conquer 4, and then I'll show you how to enroll a new keypad to a Conquer 4. Some reasons that you want to unenroll a keypad is say that you're doing some construction and you want to take the keypad down and store it somewhere. Um, it'll put the other keypads in the system into trouble. And what you can do is you can unenroll it temporarily while you do your construction and then put it back in after. And the other reason you could do it is say that the keypad got damaged and you want to replace it. Or you had a alarm technician at your home and he forgot to unenroll his keypad from the system when he was programming. That is another problem. Now, the only way to, to um, unenroll a keypad is you got to have an alphanumeric keypad to do it. To enroll a keypad, is you don't need the, the uh, alphanumeric. It'll just auto-enroll itself, and I'll show you how. So, this scenario, let's say that uh, this keypad is uh, in a portion of your home, and you want to unenroll it because you're going to do some construction. You're going to take this um, off the wall and store it while you're doing construction and you want to get the system um, out of trouble. So right now I'll pretend that I'm going out to the garage or whatever and I'm going to uh, take this keypad off the wall. So now this keypad is off the wall and you notice on your other keypad that see this little star right there? That star is flashing. All right. So now, I wish that would come in a little clearer for you. Um, so the star is flashing means that your system is in trouble. So you hit the star key, and it says bus failure unit one. So this must be unit one. So now, what you have to do is you have to go into program, go to accessory modules, and you have to delete this off of the system. So... I have other YouTube videos out there on how to get into program. Um, so I'm just going to just quickly get into it. Um, so again, you hit 8, punch in the installer code. The command is 00. zero. All right. System programming. And you hit the pound to say yes. And then you're looking for accessory modules. Siren options, audio. There's the accessory modules right there. Hit the pound. So the bus devices, that's what you want to get rid of one of them. All right. Now, there's a serial number there. Darn, I wish you could see that. That's 921-8230. I know that's this keypad. So I'll go down one. And there's unit one. And that is uh, 142-95358. And if you want to make sure, there's a sticker right down here at the bottom. And that sticker will match that that number right there, that ID. Then all you have to do is hit the D key. And there you go. It just deleted it. I wish that would come back. Come on, there you go. So now unit one, it says none. So you get out of program. And let's go here, get out of program. Where's my system program? Sensors, audio verification, assessment. Oops, maybe I have to get a hit. Oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, exit program. Hit that. Okay, it says, now if you notice, there's no more trouble. That flashing cursor by the Sunday is gone. So I'll arm it. It's armed away. Notice that this one didn't do anything. And I can go. Uh, disarm, one, two, three, four, nothing. So this system, this is out of the system. So I'm going to disarm, one, two, three, four, and I turned it off. So now, say that the construction is done and you want to add this back into the system. It can't be any easier than this. All you have to do is just rewire it. So I'm just putting this wire back in here. Come on. All right. So I got it wired back up on the wall, and you have it wired into the control panel, but if you notice, it still won't work. 
nothing. What you have to do is you have to completely power down the system. Wait about two, three seconds. That's all it needs. Power the system back up. Now it's going to do a bus scan. See where it says bus scan? All right. And then the flashing light on there is just telling you to, to set the time and date. So let's go in and set the time and date. So 9, your user code. And time and date, you hit pound. Let's just put in anything. Oops, wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh, zero, nine, fifty-six. Hit the pound. Let's go up to t uh, the date. Uh, zero, eight, one, 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 nine. And let's just get out of here. Exit program. And there you go. Now, see the green light came on? So now I can just arm it. Armed it, and this one over here, I'll disarm it. All right, and if you notice uh, right here on, next to the Sunday, there is no more little star telling you that it's in trouble. You just hit the star, and it says system is okay. So there you go, folks. That's how you um, unenroll a keypad and enroll a keypad. Can't be simpler than that. Thanks for watching.